I was a single mom, 25 years old, uh, with one child uh, when I was diagnosed uh, with uh, CML back in 2003. She had a kind of leukemia that in spite of all of our efforts was progressing rapidly and we had no other option but to con consider a transplant. I was anxious and, and um, scared. Scared for my family, what's going to happen. Um, scared for my life. What if, if it doesn't work? Sonella found hope at the Seitman Cancer Center at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine. Since its inception 30 years ago, the bone marrow and stem cell transplant program has grown to one of the top five programs in the world. We've gone from 30 transplants a year to 400 plus transplants a year. We've seen everything a thousand times. We know when they're going to happen before they happen. We can intervene early to prevent all sorts of problems from happening. We really have a critical mass of some of the best minds, I think, in academic medicine that we have brought together to try and tackle the problems that face patients with these diseases. It takes an army of people to do what we do every day. They welcomed me, not just with words, but with just hope and feeling from the uh, cleaning person to the doctors. Everybody was coming with a big, huge smile on their faces. Every time they opened the door, you knew that you were welcome. Major advancements in bone marrow transplants are the direct result of clinical studies. Seitman's commitment to clinical studies enables improved outcomes now and in the future. For Sonella, who relied on a mismatched donor, a study was her only option. I didn't know how well my body react to it because I was already weak near death, basically. If she wasn't able to go on this clinical trial, she would not have been transplanted. And if she had not been transplanted, she would not have been alive today. I'm sure of that. She was declining rapidly. Clinical trials are really important in that the standard of care today was established by clinical trials that were done in the past. And so in order to improve on the standard of care for tomorrow, we have to continue uh, to uh, do innovative, cutting-edge clinical trials. Each year, a celebration is held in honor of the patients of the bone marrow transplant program. This celebration marks a milestone with the 5,000th bone marrow transplant performed in July of 2011. Every one of those transplants is equally significant. Uh, every one of those patients uh, represents an individual story and struggle and, and hopefully a triumph. The patient celebration is really the highlight of the year for us. It's grown to a gathering of over 500 people. Everybody in the audience looks like they were at the Academy Awards dinner. You would never know that they had anything wrong with them. I mean, this is really, it's really quite something. Seitman's dedication to understanding the genetics and biology of cancer allows the program to remain in the forefront, bringing the fight for a cure to the patients of tomorrow. Our patients somehow manage to reach down and find strength that, that I think many times they never knew that they had. And I can tell you that that inspires us on a daily basis to, to be a part of that fight with them. After so many years fighting with CML, and finally I can put my foot down and say, I beat it. We're in this for the long term with the patients. We're going to live through the joys and valleys with them. We're going to be there in the beginning and the end. The power of the patient's individual spirit can't be underestimated. You cannot say enough thank you to the people who saved your life, who helped you through this whole process, who were there and they're still there for me. It's just one big thanks to everyone, everyone.